Today we're going to uh, talk about negative exponents. So let's get started. Okay, the rule is x to the negative 3 equals 1 over x to the third power. So, whenever you have a negative exponent, the first thing that needs to come in your mind is a fraction. I need to create a fraction. So when you create this fraction, in your numerator you're going to place a 1, and in your denominator you're going to place this entire power in the denominator without the negative sign. Okay? Let's let me give one give you a, give one a try. 2 to the negative 3. Okay? When I when you again, when you see a negative exponent, you're going to you need to say, "Okay, I I can't have a negative exponent." You don't want to do that. So I want to create a fraction. In my fraction, I'm going to place a 1 in my numerator. And in my denominator, I'm going to write this power without the negative exponent. Now, if you, if you don't know what to do with, do, if you don't know how to take care of this process, the next process I'm going to go through, Please um, look at my video on multiplying exponent with exponents with like bases, and that'll help you out. But I'm going to go through the steps right now with you, just in case you haven't watched that. But please watch that. Okay, so we know that there's a 1 in my numerator. There's a 2 to the third power. Well, what does that mean? That means 2 times 2 times 2. We can simplify this even more. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 will give me 8. So my answer is going to be 1 over 8. 1 8. So I can say that 2 to the negative third power equals 1 8. Okay. Let's try another one. 8 to the negative 2. Again, when I see that negative, I'm going to immediately think fraction. I need to create a fraction. So I'm going to put a 1 in my numerator and the 8 to the second power in your denominator. Again, when it when the negative 2 leaves from the numerator and goes to the denominator, it becomes positive here. It changes signs. It goes from negative to positive. And we can simplify this even more. We can bring our 1 over and we know 8 to the second power means 8 times 8. And we know that 8 times 8 equals 64. So we can say that 8 to the negative second power is 1 over 64, 1 64. Okay, but what if the denominator what if the denominator had a negative exponent? Well, Again, when you see the negative exponent, you want to think fraction. I need to create a fraction. Automatic, I need to create a fraction. So I have a 2 to the negative third power. It's in my denominator. If I want to make this positive, I need to move it to my numerator. And this time the 1 is going to go in the denominator. And I'm going to simplify this. 
2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2 over 1. Well, 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Times 2 is 8. And so therefore we know that it's going to be 8 over 1, which actually e equals 8. So I know that 1 over 2 to the negative third power equals 8. All right, I'm going to give you two to, to actually practice on. I would like for you to try 6 to the negative third power, and then I want you to try 1 over 9 to the negative second power. If you'll please place your the video on pause as, as you're working these problems, and hit play when you're finished. Thank you. Okay, let's look at our top problem here. We have 6 to the negative third power. Immediately, I see a negative exponent, so I need to think a fraction. Fraction. So I'm going to put a 1 in the top, and I'm going to put this entire power here in the denominator without the negative. I know that... 6 to the third power means 6 times 6 times 6. And we know that 6 times 6 is 36. Times 6 will give you 216. So our answer is going to be 1 over 216. So we can say that 6 to the negative third equals 1 over 216. Now let's look at this bottom problem right here. We have a negative exponent, so immediately think fraction. I have a negative 2 as my exponent, so I'm going to put this entire power in the numerator. I went from the denominator up to the numerator. And when I made this move, this negative sign disappeared. So I'm going to put my 1 under it. I know that 9 to the second power means 9 times 9 over 1. And 9 times 9 is 81 over 1. And 81 divided by 1 is just plain old 81. Okay. Um, if you have any suggestions or comments, please email me at mathwithmoon, that's one word, at email.com, that's mathwithmoon, at gmail.com, and I will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.